Hello everyone. My name's Josh, and of course, uh, most of you know that by now. If you don't, it's okay. Um, you know, when I just read some comments saying that somebody is like the next Joan Rivers, or, oh, you're like the next George Carlin, uh, those two are legends. Both of them are dead and gone. And that's really an insult to those legends. Um, you know, it's like I said before, if you disable your comments, then you're not going to get uh, what people think about your videos. They're not going to be able to voice an opinion, because if you disable your comments then the person who creates the videos isn't going to hear you or hear you're not going to hear them and that's just wrong um like i said uh congratulations on being the most insulting person on earth probably the most disliked person on earth because to be honest with you um to say you are a comedian that's just an insult in itself uh, let me tell you something. Every other comedian who had struggle trying to be funny often has to go back and rewrite their material and come back stronger. You know, there's uh, constructive criticism and then there's deconstructive criticism. And, you know, any self-respecting comedian out there would probably turn to you and diss you. And, and besides that, who wants advice from somebody who's going to insult them toward the end of the day? Who's going to do that? Oh, I guess if you want to be insulted, go like her page. Go like her channel. Go to Facebook. Go to Twitter. Like her. I don't care. You know, but the fact is, I'm glad that all three social sites have a block feature. Without it, I'd have to, I'd be still listening to her acting like a stupid fool. Oh yeah. You know, she makes this video called Abortion is Wrong. Uh where have you been? Um it's called pro life. Most people who are totally against abortion are pro life. Those who are for it are pro choice. And the fact is, it doesn't take somebody who says they're a comedian to tell them abortion is wrong. Just like it's not a comedian's job to shame somebody's body or make them feel like they're a disgusting blob. That's not comedy. That is harassment. That is cyberbullying. And let me tell you something. I wish that this show was still on TV where a judge, yes, a real appointed judge, you know, would tell somebody like you who is about fat shaming or shaming somebody's body that now you're going to wear a fat suit and you're going to have to go out there and try to com try to get comments on the way you look. And let me tell you something. This actually worked because there was this woman who was truly a racist person who was really racist. She was white and she was racist. The judge ordered her to, for one whole day, they colored her skin black. She had to walk on the streets in front of white people who then turned on her and were racist. And she understood what racism is. Something you have no clue. And you know the thing is that really gripes me? Yes, there are people that are in wheelchairs. You know, not because they're fat. And sometimes they do gain weight because they are unable to move. But there are diseases like MS. And I know a few people who have it. And I know one who is in a wheelchair. Can never walk again. Um, you know, the thing about it is, if somebody made fun of those people, I'd probably be all over your ass quickly. I would get to my point, and I would stick to it, and I'd say, you know, why are you making fun of uh, these people when you should be making fun of yourself? That's what comedy is about. 
taking something that happened to you in your personal life and making fun of it. Like, let's say you have a crazy ex. Make fun of that person. Um, even if your ex is still on here or wherever that ex is, send a message that, hey, I had a very bad ex. The fact that I overcome so much in my life, um, I've overcome the fact I almost died when I was only three months old, caused by amoebas. And they were parasitic, of course, and if you don't know that, they were parasites. You know, if you watch that episode, Being Eaten Alive, that's what was happening to me. It destroyed my immune system. I was very sick, and I was near death. I should have died. But the fact is, when the doctors finally figured out my problem, because my, you know, these cases are very rare, so it's not like everybody gets it. But I was, I couldn't eat. And when I was younger, I used to be really skinny. And now that I've gained some weight, I'm actually happy that I have some weight. Because, <laughs> and you know, okay, there is a video on here called Dear Skinny People. I think I watched it. Now, that's funny. And that's, the guy that does it is a skinny guy. So, you know what? It makes sense for someone who's skinny to make fun of himself and other skinny people. But the thing is, he doesn't promote or tell people you should shame somebody's body. He doesn't promote or tell people... Oh, you're living an assisted suicide. No, you're helping people who are overweight or have health problems to want to commit suicide. So I think if anybody anybody dies because of your stupid video, I hope you're arrested. I don't care if you say you have freedom of speech. Because you know what? We all have freedom of speech. But here's the thing. Um, if you're just going to use it to insult people or to suggest that they go kill themselves because you are a sad, pathetic, lonely person. Let me tell you something. Um, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be totally alone. No one's going to care who you are. I bet you in 10 or 15 years from now, everyone's going to be like, where's that Nicole whoever chick? Oh, she's not on Facebook? She's not on YouTube? Hell, she's not on Twitter anymore. Where did she go? Because the thing is, and like I said, you're just a bully. Your messages weren't aimed to help anybody. You're not telling you're telling people that they need to lose weight. Uh, if you never had a health problem or never had a health health issue, and you're not a personal trainer and you're not some medical physician, I think you should mind your own damn business. That's not something you tell people. Oh, you got heart disease? Well, like I said before in one of my videos, where I where I said, you know, the only way I'm probably going to get heart disease isn't because of the lack of my weight. You know what's going to be? Probably from smoking. But that's my choice. I don't promote it. I don't tell people, oh yeah, Dan, light a cigarette. You're so cool. Woohoo, look at me. No, I don't tell people that. I was 18 years old, and no, it wasn't because somebody told me I should smoke. It's because I've been around it for a long time. That I literally became addicted to it. That's why I am I am a smoker. Getting secondhand smoke can make you addicted to it. Just like some people who smoke joints. People say, Oh, you can't get high off secondhand smoke. Have you ever smoked a joint? Probably not. But see if you're in that area and you smell it and you keep smelling it, you're gonna end up getting high. Even when you're even if you don't even smoke it. So, stay away from those people. I mean, I don't promote drug use. Because, you know, and I don't support that. I know a lot of people who who do drugs. And I wish they would get off. But those are my friends. Those are people I care about. It's not just some random person out there doing it. No, it's somebody I care about. If I'm really concerned about somebody, I'll ask them, uh, would you please stop? But you know what? Being addicted to anything is hard to quit. You know, people always say, oh, it's in your mind. No, it's not. Really, it's not in your mind. All right, well, everyone have a good night.
and I will talk to y'all later.